Hey guys, what's up? This is Shane Dublin, and this is the Mod Spotlight for Extra Utilities for Minecraft version 1.7.10. Now, I'm not going to go everything in extreme detail. I'm just going to go everything over everything really quickly, just so this Mod Spotlight doesn't last very long. So first up, coming back to Extra Utilities, is we have Transfer Nodes. Transfer Nodes are like hoppers. They move stuff from the chest into another adjacent inventory. They will not put stuff into the inventory unless it can actually fit, so you need coal or something to go through. There's a whole bunch of different pipes that you can put on the end of the hopper to make the items travel along, sorting pipes and other things. You can make cobble gin with the hopper and cobble and world interaction upgrades that changed from the previous patch. You can also pump water with world interaction upgrades into into these things, water drums. And they also added bedrock drums which hold a lot more water or liquids. There's the ender transmitter which lets you transmit items across space time. Magic. Over here we have some of the blocks. These are a lot of the same blocks that were already in there. I notice he added these blocks. They're just solid color blocks. Some blocks over here that are connected textures. You have several pieces of glass that you can walk through. It's pretty cool. You can see through here, there's no light going in, so there's bad spawning. You can walk through this glass, but no light comes in. You can walk through curtains too, and half the light gets cut out. Another cool feature of this mod are chandeliers. They prevent mobs from spawning in a huge radius, 16 by 16. So it's the Minecraft radius. And then you can build magnum torches, which will prevent mobs from spawning in this huge of a radius, 64 by 64. It's pretty crazy. Also, let me fly down here. There are these things called ender seeds. You can plant them and they will grow ender pearls for you. They grow faster in whatever this stuff is in stone. This is a cool block. It's a rain muffler. When it rains, you don't hear the rain around it. And if you right click on it, you can put wool in your ears and then you never hear rain again. This is a sound muffler. That's a bunch of chickens. Take it away, hear the chickens, put it back, barely hear the chickens. So that's really cool. This mod adds magical wood, which is like bookshelves, but you need less of them to upgrade stuff. Level 30 enchant, yay. This mod also adds lots of generators. They used to different things. This is basically a coal generator, another coal generator, lava, ender, redstone something. Food, potion, solar, TNT, high temperature, which I guess is just more coal. Another star, pink generator. They all generate RF. Over here we have store items with the same metadata, so if you have a bunch of different pickaxes or bees or something, you can store them in here. This one will let you store items with metadata, but they can have different types of items, so you can store bees and shovels in here. This is a trash can. It's really useful. Just dump all the stuff in there. This is a peaceful table when it's on peaceful mode. And there's a sword in here. It'll spawn mobs randomly and kill the mobs. Let's see what else is there. Oh yeah. There's this thing. It's a conveyor belt. It's so fun. You can make circles, so that's cool. Also, he changed some of the in-game recipes to use a tie. That's not what it is. A quasar entanglement device, which is like a crafting table, but it needs RF energy. So you power these. Uh, Interflux crystals with RF. And
and it makes a magnum torch or different recipes. It's pretty cool. There's the portal to the deep dark, which is still here. It's basically uh, another world you can mine. There's structures and stuff. I won't spoil it for you. And oh, you can build quarries too with this mod. They're called survivalist generator. That's not what it's called. Ender quarry. It mines everything in the fence post area, but it doesn't cause server lag. It replaces all the blocks with dirt, so it doesn't make it look ugly. And it keeps one chunk loaded, or two chunks loaded at a time. It keeps the chunk that it's in and the chunk that it's mining in, so you don't have to worry about it keeping like 30 or 40 chunks loaded like you do with buildcraft quarries. It uses RF to power it itself. Let's see. There's a bunch of tools that he added. Or this is from whatever. Here's some extra utilities tools. They don't break, but they destroy dirt. Well, this is creative mode, but game mode survival. It goes really fast, but it destroys dirt. And the pickaxe is the same. Um, shovels don't break. You can use water and canned. And he added these angel wings, which basically allow you to fly. And there's several different ones. Invisible, golden, feathery, fairy, and dragon. So that's kind of cool. Go through here. We can look at the endothermic pump, which basically just pumps water, or not water, lava and you can store it. It doesn't cause lag because it prevents lava from running. It replaces lava with stone. So that's very nice. And that's about it. You can compress cobblestone and dirt and sand. And this mod is really useful for a lot of other mods. You're using it with a lot of other mods. It's just one of my favorite mods and I enjoy playing with it. And there's one more thing over here. It's a trading post. It lets you trade with all the villagers in the town without having to go talk to them. So that's it for this mod spotlight. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you share and subscribe to my channel. Appreciate you guys' support. Thanks for watching. Bye.